Hmm, get a tragic here, and welcome to the next Lord of the Rings. Oh yeah. This time we are doing why is the computer going so slowly? Oh, it's because I'm encoding. Can I pause this? Bam. Okay. Uh yeah, we are doing Return to Mirkwood, which is another quest that gets a lot of hate, but I actually think is a very good quest. Set our first player over this side. Now, uh, basically the way this works is we have now caught Gollum and we now have to take him back. We've got to go all the way back through Mirkwood, but he's constantly trying to escape. And because he's making a lot of noise and complaining, going, oh, it hurts us, it hurts us, and all that kind of crap, we're drawing a lot of threat because we're making a lot of noise and everyone's coming to investigate. So... This is a very hard one for solo, not as hard for multiplayer. Now, when I play this normally, I like to have Bilbo, not Bilbo, uh, Frodo, because Frodo can eat damage from very, very powerful enemies. But I just couldn't get him to work. I kept trying to swap out AON for Frodo, but it just wasn't giving me enough questing power. There is a billion uh, one, one point surge bats and crows, so you have to have Thalen. He's a must-have. And because this quest is all about getting to the location before the threat comes in, you need to quest quickly, so I've given us uh, Dane to boost him. And so the only person I could really swap out for Frodo is Berevor. But of course, remember, this one is all about threat reduction. So if you don't have Berevor, or Bilbo at least, it's really hard to get those threat cards. Because if you don't have those threat cards, it is game over. Okay, so let's uh, look at our hands and choose whether we're going to keep them. This is a met hand. What I like to do is I like to mulligan to try and find either three cards. I want a threat reduction, an unexpected courage or a quester. But I'm gonna mulligan this and see what comes. Okay, this is a much better hand. We've got card draw, we've got fetch, we've got threat control. Now, Wandering Took is a card that I haven't really used much in my time in Lord of the Rings because I only play solo, and its action is actually only for multiplayer. But I found this to be quite a powerful card have three of these on the table. You can just transfer six threat between players really easily, which means you can bulk up all your threat reduction onto one side, which is very, very helpful because of poor old, whatever his name is, Gollum. We'll get to that in a sec. Meanwhile, over here, we have a pretty terrible hand, but it's not too terrible. We have Stuart of Gondor, which is good. We have... A Song of Wisdom, which is good. We've got Burning Brand, which is also good. And we, the most important bit, though, is that we have two One Drops. Now, this quest is all about feeding monsters to the gigantic spiders. So this deck here is almost entirely, uh, you know, people. So that's a very unusual hand. Usually it's just all allies. So I'm going to keep this one, despite the fact that it's kind of lame. Okay, and we can get started. Having captured Gollum, you must now escort him through Mirkwood Forest for interrogation at Thalandril's palace. Search the encounter deck for Gollum. Choose a player to guard Gollum at the start of the game and place Gollum in front of that player. Shuffle the encounter deck. Reveal one card per player. So we're going to add... Gollum to this guy. And the reason I'm doing it to here is because if we look at Gollum's thing, at the end of each round, raise the threat of the player guarding Gollum by three. And then we get to choose a new player to guard him if we want. Now, this guy starts at 25 threat, which is very low. This guy starts at 32. So the, the goal, if we can, is to lower this guy's threat a lot and for him to have Gollum most of the questing time. The problem is there's some really, there's a, actually an eight attack spider in here called Atacop Atacop. And if you get that turn one, it always attacks whoever has Golem. But on turn one, no matter who it goes to, it's gonna kill someone. 
because there's no way to defend against it unless you can drop out a one point guy which we just happened to have so that was a bit unlucky but still uh, I think I'm going to just keep going the way I'm going actually maybe I should put it over here just in case I don't know the chances of getting out of cop in turn one's pretty low and I just want to it'll just really help me to get a couple of threat uh, increases on this side of the of the deck so we're going with that. And now we reveal one card per player. Oh, wow. Raise the threat of the player guarding Golem by eight. That player must choose a new player to guard Golem if able. So we are going to tap Eleanor to cancel that. But more importantly, we have this horrible hill troll. Now Golem has this other annoying thing Damage from undefending attacks must be dealt to Golem. So you have to defend everything because if Golem dies, that is the end of the game. And we do have Hill Troll turn one, so that's horrible. Okay, so let's uh, draw the next card. Uh, how do I draw the card? This button, isn't it? Okay, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to drop that. And I'm going to drop this here. And I'm going to go one, two, and drop out a quester. And we're going to quest like that. Let's grab a, an extra will token, because he's getting plus one from Dane. Then over here, we have an absolutely shockingly bad hand, but you know, is what we're going to be stuck with and that's that so we're questing for plus six let's draw oh I forgot to flip this over Oop. I sliced my thumb pretty badly so it's kind of hard for me to use my trackball and the second card okay so I'm going to attach that to Dane. This has to attach to the person with the highest threat, and he's got to pay two to ready. Okay, but we're still plus Thor. That's nice. One, two, three, four. And now we are going to travel to the water course. When it's the active location, all treachery cards affect both players. Okay, now this guy is going to attack us. Now this is a horrible start we have here. This guy, he takes three to kill, and we've got a total damage of two. Three, four, five, six. Remember, he does have one wound. Oh no, he doesn't have even have a wound on him because he came out during the setup. Wow, this is really bad. So I'm going to defend with Gimli and if this guy has a plus one damage, it's basically game over and we'll have to restart. Bleep. Discard the top five cards of the player guarding Golem. That's not good. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, could have been a lot worse. So he's attacking for six, he's defending at two, which means he gets four wounds, one, two, three, four, which translates as one, two, three, four, five, six attack he has now. It helps if I... What's wrong with my keyboard? It's not transmitting properly. There we are. Okay, so he gets, he's got four wounds. Something wrong with my keyboard. Maybe it needs a new battery. Whatever, the point is he gets plus one attack for each damage token. He's got four damage that gives him six attack. I'll just like uh, organize this, make it nice and neat. 
Okay. Now we can't actually attack back, so I'm going to tap this bloke and I'm going to draw two cards on this side of the deck. And then I'm going to tap this bloke and peek at the next card from the encounter deck. Not that we can really do anything, it's just nice to know. Okay, so it's two. Okay, now this thing triggers. Raise the players by three, so we're going to go one, two, three. And it's now, we have to choose whether we're going to change positions. I think I am going to leave this one more turn on this side. Okay, so let's refresh and draw another card. We're going to come down here. He Remember, he didn't untap last turn, so he's still up. We're going to go one, two, place out our... whatever this is called, Strude Gondor. And that's pretty much all we can do here. Meanwhile, over here, let's just check in here and see if we lost any of our threat reduction. We didn't. So, I'm gonna go one, place this out here. I'm going to go one, two, and place this guy out here. Then I'm going to go questy, questy, questy. That gives us plus seven. Bammo, bammo. Really lucky we didn't get any more monsters. This is only two to pass, so we will clear that immediately. That also means we draw one, two, three cards on this thing here because of H of Mathan. Draw three cards for first player. Now what have you got here? What I'll also do is I'm going to discard this to put two tokens on any location, which clears this location because it only takes two, and that's going to give us another plus three quest power. So that is another one, two, three. And the player guarding Golem is exhausted here, so that's good. We're going to travel down there and we'll just exhaust Eowyn to do that. Okay, back over here, we're in terrible dire straits. We are currently attacking for six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need eleven to kill him. Now we can't leave this undefended because remember, it'll just kill this bloke. So unfortunately, we're going to have to, there we go, this guy's attacking for six. This guy's defending at three with five. So since we have to stand a whole second turn anyway, I'm going to defend with this bloke. No. If this attack is undefended, it's not undefended, so nothing. So he's attacking for six. He's defending at three, so that is one, two, three wounds. And then we attack back for six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now that puts four wounds on him. Now this guy takes nine to kill. So if I don't attack with her, if I attack with her now, I'll put another two wounds on, but I'll instead I'll be able to draw. But next turn, I do have Gandalf, which I can play. Yeah, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna attack, just so I can save her card draw, which I will then tap and draw two cards on this side. Nice. Okay, let's refresh and draw again. And remember, Golem goes up three. One, two, three. And I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to send this across to the other side. Because after you increase his, 
you know, whatever, his threat, you can choose a new player to guard. Okay, well, we've got a little bit of gas going on here. Let's tap you and get one, two. What do I need here? Let me think. What have we got on this side of the world? Three, four, five, six. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, and play Wandering Took directly to the other side. Bam, which increases his threat by three. One, two, three, and reduces his threat by three. One, two, three. Because reduce your threat by three to give control of Wandering Took to another player, raise that player's threat by three. I don't know why I played Horn of Gondor on her as well. That should be on the other deck. That was a big screw up. Hopefully that's not going to worry us. And then I'm going to go one, two, and play out another quester. Quest, 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 quest. Meanwhile, over this side of the world, we're going to go... One, place out an eagle, and then one, two, three, four, five, and place out this guy. Remember, this dude is actually tapped, so he cannot defend this time. And when he comes into play, we're going to reduce our threat by five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Hopefully, we will not get too many more monsters. Come on, no monsters. Ah, oh, fine. He's fine because he's got 40 attack threat, so that's good. Blammo. Beautiful. That's plus five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And this one says, after exploring the glade, reduce the threat of the player not guarding Golem by two. So that's one, two. And bam. Now, normally I would travel here, but I don't want to risk another monster coming out until I deal with that horrible troll. So I may as, I might, I think I'll keep the Wood Elf Path up here, just so we have the option. The Wood Elf Path response allows us to change who's guarding Golem. It doesn't make a lot of difference right now, but later on, if we're really high threat, it might save the game. So we're going to leave these up there. So we have these little shortcuts that we can take when we need to. Okay, meanwhile, down this side of the world, what do we need to kill this guy? Four wounds. We need to put five on top of him. So we need to do eight damage. So he's got six, seven, Seven, eight. Okay, so we can actually defend with Gandalf. Ugh. Raise the player's threat by four. I'm actually going to cancel that by spending one and spending cancel shadow effect. Bam. But on the plus side, we get rid of Ungland. <laughs> we don't have to deal with that. So he's done the six. He's defending at four, so it's just two wounds because he's a, a boss. And then we just go six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five wounds, nine wounds, one dead troll. Okay, so that's all under control. This gets discarded. And then I'm gonna tap you and draw two times. Then I go one, two, three threat from Gollum. Okay. Draw a card. I really screwed up by not having the, uh, not putting the Horn of Gondor on this side. Okay, let's go one, 
two, place out more card draw. Card draw is so important for this quest, in my opinion, because it allows you to pick up those card, pick, you know, find those cards you haven't been getting. Click one, two. And I'm going to go one, two, and place out the untapper doodle. And I'm going to stick it on this guy, who I'm going to then tap to ready him. So this thing says he can't ready during the refresh phase. But now that he has unexpected courage, I can just tap that to ready this bloke. So he's now actually ready. Meanwhile, I've got no no support, so I'm going to spend this one and place. Oh, there's not even a. Oh, there's nothing to do. Okay, so we're going to go quest, quest, quest. It's giving us a total of plus two. So let's quest with you as well. It gives us a total of plus four. It's not a lot, really, is it? So I'm going to go bam, actually I'm going to go bam, it gives us plus five. Let's go draw, surge, and the next one. Oh, so this one has surge, it also has one wound. So we're negative two, so we can do some discards to fill this. I think... Don't really want to. Do, I think I'll discard this guy one, and I'll discard this one two. So that's another two questing power from Aowen. We're now even at zero. Uh, okay, and then I'm going to travel to none of these, I guess. I guess I'm going to travel to the Wood Elf Path, just get one out of the staging area. I guess we have to. Bam. After the players travel, we can choose a new player for Golem. We're not going to choose a new player. This guy will come down and attack us. And I think I'm going to have this guy attack us as well. Just get him out of the staging area. So how's this going to work? He is the first player. There's only two. So if we optionally engage this guy, there's only one guy left who's at 10 who attacks the first player first. So we end up with both on this side of the, you know, of the, the map. Okay, so this guy's attacking for four. This guy's defending at three. So this is a risky block. But I'm going to do it anyway. What you got for us? Nothing, excellent. So that's one wound. Oops. And this guy I will block with Hammer Math. Nothing. Hammer Math is killed though. And remember, this dude does have one damage from Thalen. And because we got a damage, this gets plus one from the horn because we lost our, our character, right? This guy, where is he? This guy was destroyed, so Horn of Gondor actually triggered and we get an extra point. Okay, so now I'm just going to go... We need... This guy's got six damage, so we attack for six. That puts five damage on here, right? I'm also going to attack with this guy. Oh, and we get plus one threat, actually, when this guy attacks as well. That's crazy. So we're attacking for six, seven, eight, nine. This guy has one. We're attacking for six. So we get five wounds that, give him, that wouldn't kill him. So we have to attack with the vassal. So this guy is discarded, but this guy is also killed. And I am going to then attack with Barovor for two, which will kill this bloke. Then I tap you and draw one card. Okay. And then I get 
one, two, three threat increase. And I'm going to send Gollum to the other side. Okay. Oh, beautiful. We actually have uh, threat reductions. Let's go one, two, three. Tap, one, two. Threat reduction. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'm going to go one, two, three, four. Use Tome to do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'm going to go one, two, three, four, 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 there we are, and place out a health bucket onto Gimli. So he's now got nine health. Now remember, this guy can't untap unless we tap uh, Unexpected Courage, but now he's untapped. And okay, so quest, quest, quest. Now because Gollum is here, we always have to leave one guy up. We don't want Anacop to come out. We have not re to, no Anacop, no Anacop, Anacop spiders come out. You'll see it when it comes out, it's pretty brutal. So you need to have one guy always up to take uh, to be eaten by the spider because he attacks for like eight. Okay, over this side, we're going to spend one and place out Shadowborn Scout. And when you do, you get to place a token on, token on any location. There's a location here. It only takes one to beat, so that is beaten. And... Well, that's that. So we're questing for plus five, not bad. Bamo, spider, bamo. Okay, this is a bat. He's got surge, but he's only got one damage, which means he's killed by Thalen. And we know this spider well from Mirkwood. He's the one of the Mirkwood spiders. He makes us, each player has to exhaust one character he controls. So I'm gonna exhaust this bloke. And I will exhaust this bloke. This guy will come down and attack. Okay, so this guy currently has four wounds. This bloke attacks for three. We have no cancels. So I'm actually going to defend with Shadowborn Scout. Uh, it's a pity we did that because, uh, you know, we could have blocked that, but uh, whatever. So Shadowball Count is destroyed and we get plus one from Horn of Gondor. And then I attack for six, which kills this bloke. Then I tap both of these guys to draw six cards over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, not six, three. One, two, three. Sorry, that was a huge mistake got uh, ahead of myself then. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, whatever, I'm going to keep going. And that be the end of that. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to actually do this, right? So there was three... This guy was in the staging area, which means we had three progress, which means this is destroyed. And that'll do us. Okay. So this guy goes up three. One, two, three. And I'm going to move this over here now. Okay. Now this feels like we're not doing a lot of progress, but it's actually important. It's more about getting your board set up before you get out of the first stage. Okay, so I'm gonna go one, two, place out 
Burning Brand. Remember, we can do that because this only has Summer Wisdom. And then I'm going to spend one, place out a defense. So he's now blocking at one, two, three, four. And we have to actually tap him to ready him. And I think I'm gonna save this guy's this guy just for now. Meanwhile, over here, let's tap one, two. We'll go one, two, three, four, and do another threat reduction and go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, blammo, 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 blammo. And that should be enough. Plus seven. Oh, that's bollocks. What's this one say? Remove four progress tokens. So this is kind of one of those weird things. I could cancel this with Eleanor, but I have this theory in Lord of the Rings, unless it's like a game-breaking okay, we have to cancel this or it's game over. I never cancel it. So we can afford to lose these four progress tokens. So I'm going to lose it. One, two, three, four. We're still plus two. And do we have another Shadowborn Scout in hand? We do. So then I'm going to travel to Mountains of Mirkwood. And to travel there, we need to reveal the top card in the deck. Bam. Which is this horrible monster. Now this is in the travel phase, remember? So there is actually no wound on him, which is really unfortunate. I wish I did cancel that card now. Oh well, doesn't matter. Okay, so this guy will attack us. We will block with our... Uh, Dane. He gets a shadow card, but it's discarded immediately because of Burning Brand. I'm so glad I'd had that, because look at that. Shadow deal two damage to a hero controlled by the player. <laughs> anyway, whatever. This guy's attacking for three. He's defending at four. No damage. And it actually had a shadow card, which was super lucky. There's not many shadow effects in this thing, so it's actually quite hard to get rid of the wards. So I'm going to attack for six, and that will kill the wargs. And then I'll go tap, tap, and draw. One, two, three. And then this guy gets one, two, three threat, and we're going to keep Gollum on his side of the table. Okay, we finally have a shadow cancel. About time. And I keep forgetting to use Strength of Will, which I probably should have used last turn, but I forgot about it. One, two, I've got to remember to do that. So let's go one and place out uh, another Mathan. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, and place out uh, Lorien's Guide. Click, 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 click. Lorien Glide Guide places a token on the active location. So this gets one token. Meanwhile, over this side of the world, I'm going to go one, two, and place out you. I also go one, place out another shield. It gives him another one defense, five defense. This is such, this is, after playing, you know, Heels of Aaron Mule and, you know, the Dead Marshes, this is just such a interesting quest. There's so much to do. It's awesome. I love this quest. And the timer, the three threat timer is so oppressive. You know, you're just like, ah, oh, there's such pressure. I love it. Okay. Uh, oh, you know what I forgot to do? Actually, we're not going to do that. So let's pull this off. Get rid of that defense. We don't need five defense, really. Instead, we're going to spend that one resource to place another scout, which will place one token here and get rid of the brown lands. OK, 
Okay, we're now at plus 10. So we're gonna, we're at the point we're gonna start owning everything. So let's draw two, one, two. What's this one say? Remove four progress tokens again, but we're plus eight, so who cares? So let's just go one, two, two, three, four. Let's check that. Yeah, four progress tokens. And again, we could cancel that, but you know, why risk something even worse coming out? But it's plus eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. 10. We only need two to pass that. So let me think, do I want to discard anything to pass that? I could discard this. So if I discard this and over here, I discard this. That gives us another two questing power, which means we get another two tokens, which means we're 12 tokens here, 12 to pass this location. So first I'll just clear this out. Response, after Mirkwood, after Mountains of Mirkwood leaves players and explored location, each player searches the top five cards for one card and adds it to the hand. Excellent, plus the first player gets to draw three. Bam, so that is one, two, three. And then I look at the top five and I'm gonna take another one of these things. Return to bottom and shuffle. Oops, sorry, return to, right, return and shuffle I need to do. Let me just quickly look in here. We've only had one greeting so far, so there's three greetings in the deck with 16 cards left. So I don't want to reshuffle my deck using these things until the greeting comes out. Meanwhile, over here, let's look at the top five. Well, we're definitely taking more threat reduction. You have to start uh, doing more stuff with him. Okay, then we clear this path. Mirkwood is always a dangerous place, but it's even worth with Gollum. Between the outburst tantrums and the flying provisions, you are not afforded a moment's peace. Oh, he's such an annoying little monster. As soon as he thinks that no one is watching, Gollum attempts to slip his bonds and escape. The player guarding Gollum cannot commit characters to this quest unless he is the only player in the game. If the player's quest unsuccessfully, Gollum escapes and the players have lost. So this is important. Now this guy is controlling Gollum, which is fine because he's not questing anyway. Uh... Let's have this guy come down and attack us. Remember, this is a sniper, but it says during the encounter phase, player cannot optionally engage the sniper if there are other enemies in the staging area. There are no other enemies, so we're quite happy to engage this guy. So we will tap. Remember, this is this is. I'm, I'm just keep forgetting to do it, but unexpected courage is always tapped until we can get rid of this uh, token. I should have actually gotten the. Uh, the Iron Heel guy out instead of Gandalf. Whatever, the point is we're defending with this bloke. He's defending at four and he's got Burning Brand. So we just discard this thing, which is another discard top five cards. Oh man, Burning Brand is so good for this quest. Your blam, that's gone. Let's attack for six and kill this bloke. And I'm actually gonna go tap, tap and draw three cards on this side. One, two, three. Okay, then we get plus one, two, three threat. And we're gonna keep Gollum on this side of the table. Okay, bam and bam. We could really do with our other threat reduction, please. Tap, one, two. So I'm gonna go one, two, and place out another untapper. This time I'm gonna put it on, I don't really need to put it on any of these guys, do I? I guess I'll put it on you. No. Yeah. 
Actually, I'm going to put it a second one on Dane. So this one is tapped, remember, to make him standing up at the beginning of the turn. So I'm putting a second one on him. And then I'm going to go one, two, and place this over this side of the table. So that is one, two, three, one, two, three. Then over here, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, and place out another Gandalf. One, two, three, four, five. So, questy, 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 questy. We're at plus 10. We only need three to beat this part. Bamo and Bamo. Okay, plus seven, that definitely passes here. Oops, let me, uh, what's going on here? Having thwarted Gollum's escape attempt, you tighten the rope and push on through Mirkwood to Thalandral's palace. Okay, this one is seven to pass. Players guarding Gollum cannot play cards at all. So we need to pass this basically in one stage or we're screwed. Right, so I'm back from having a phone call. I've kind of forgotten what I was saying. Okay, we just completed this stage, right? So each player must exhaust one hero to travel here. So let's do that. We can exhaust a hero here and we can exhaust a hero here. And this guy gets discarded. Okay. Now, this bloke can now quest, but he can't play cards. So we're gonna go one, two, three, remember? You've gotta keep putting up the threat for Golem. I haven't forgot, oh, and I forgot to go tap and tap, and we're gonna go one, two, three on this side. Finally, we get another threat reduction. Let's go tap, one, two. Okay, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, do another six threat reduction. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm then gonna go one, Ooh, no, I'm not. I was going to play out another Took, but I want to leave those two resources just so I have Shadow Cancel and I've got Test of Will. It's important to keep those up. So let's go... Let's go Quest, 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 Quest. You get one token from the Guide. This person cannot play cards, so there's literally nothing for him to do, but we've got plenty of gas on this table already. Remember, this is tapped. But what we are going to do is... Oh, I don't even need to do it right now. So, yeah, we're questing only for plus five. That isn't actually very good, is it? Oh, I haven't quested with you. There we are. Bam, that makes more sense. Plus nine. So that is bam and your blam. Ah, oh, it's another hill troll. Thank you very much. But we're plus six. So that is one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, oh, that's only plus five, unfortunately. So we can discard this to go plus one. Now let's just quickly read this thing. Discard one card from your hand to give Eowyn plus one effect until the end of the phase. This effect may be triggered by each player once each round. Nothing on that card says that the other player has to be questing. So I can discard from this side and I will discard the other, this thing here. And that'll get us a second quest token, which gives another two quest tokens, one, two, we have seven progress, it's seven to pass, so that is passed. This gets discarded. 
get rid of that. As you make the final push to Talandra's palace, your enemies make a desperate attempt to ambush your party and seize Gollum for themselves. Yoink. Force. At the beginning of the combat phase, all enemies in play engage the player guarding Gollum. If players cannot defeat this stage, if there are any enemies in play, if players defeat this stage, they have won the game. So, that's pretty easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave all those things up there. I'm going to drag this guy down. We're going to defend with... Oh, wait. This guy's defending it. No, we can't because we haven't got any of our healers yet. So I'm going to defend with Wing Guardian. Flip. Race threat of the player guarding Golem by four. We are going to spend one resource from here and do Shadow Cancel. Get rid of that card. Yoink. He's attacking for six. He's defending at four with one health. That means our threat goes up by one because remember, this the damage that spills over is increased as threat. This guy is destroyed, which adds a resource to Horn of Gondor. And then I just go six. So he's actually attacking for seven, by the way, because of this guy is untapped. And wait, how much damage do we need? He's attacking for seven. We need 11, seven, we need 12. So that's, uh, yeah, so he's attacking for seven, eight, nine. Okay, so if I attack with that and with that. Okay, so if I attack with everybody, we are attacking for one, two, three, four, five, six for the two of these guys, and then another six from here. He doesn't get the plus one because this guy is technically, uh, he's technically tapped. So that is 12, which is what we need to kill him. So he is also killed in one go. Let's get rid of that. And then this guy goes one, two, three to get more, you know, whatever it's called, threat, because he's guarding Gollum. Okay, and let's refresh and draw stuff. We have to tap you, remember, to make sure he's untapped. Okay, let's go one, two, place out you. I'm also gonna go bam, bam, and move both of these over here, which means I go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I'm gonna go tap, oops, one, two, three. I think I forgot to give him resources, whatever. And then I go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And still nothing going on really for here. So let's go blam, 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 blam. It's giving us plus nine. Meanwhile, over this side of the world, we've still got some gas here. So I think yeah, I'm not going to actually do anything else. We only need two points. So let's draw one and two. Okay, this guy gets killed from, from Thalen. And finally, one of the Atacop Atacop cards turns up. He has one wound on him. But we should be able to deal with this guy pretty easily. What's going on with my keyboard? There we are. Okay, so this guy attacks for eight, four defense. We need 10 to kill him. So he's actually easier to kill than the hill troll, but he's harder to put individual damage on because you can kind of layer damage on the hill troll easier because he's got three defense. This guy's got four defense. But look at the force. At the beginning of the encounter phase, Atacop, Atacop automatically targets the, automatically engages the player guarding Golem, regardless of threat. So he basically attacks whoever's got Golem. 
but we are plus seven and we only need two here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What? <laughs> Bit of craziness going on. This guy will come down and attack us. He's attacking for eight, remember? So I'm going to defend with this bloke. The second Atacop comes out. He gets one wound, remember? Because of this bloke. Yonk. Gives him another point. And then all I need to do is go six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't even need to do that. Six, seven, eight. We'll put four wounds on him. Because he's got four defense. He's only got six health. He's got two wounds. So another four wounds actually kills him. One, two, three, four. So that is six attack from Glimly and two attack from Dane to put four wounds on him. He's killed. And then I'm going to go tap, tap, and go one, two, three. Oh, we don't get any more threat reduction. Okay, and that's it. Bam, we have completed it. It's not a perfect run because we've got two guys left. Three got three cards up here left, but other than that, not a bad go. I really enjoy this quest. I think uh, the nightmare version particularly, I really like. But uh, there we go. That is the end of, we've actually completed the entire Mirkwood, Return to Mirkwood is the last pack of those green decks. All we have now is the Mathing of Osgiliath, which is also one of my favorite early quests in the entire game. This is the first Worlds event. Well, it was actually Gen Con back then, but they do them at Worlds now. And uh, it's, it's uh, a special little quest mode. It's very, very cool. But that's it. I will see you guys next time. And hopefully I haven't forgotten to put Gollum's threat up. Sometimes you forget, but we did pretty well with the threat. You can see the combo with the Took. Remember, I've never really used the Wandering Took before, but it's actually quite strong. So you can, if you get three, if you get three Tooks out, you can pile threat reduction on one person and then any time you need someone to lose threat, you can just go BAM and it's like six threat transfer from one player to the other. It's actually pretty damn powerful though, because I've never really used it because that ability does not function in solo play at all. Okay, well that's that. I will see you guys later. Oh, and remember, of course, as always, if you can think of cool names for the decks, let me know and I will name them. Bye!